Hi everyone, I'm Yumiko Yamamoto and I teach economics at the Discovery Program for Global Learners. The theme of my lecture today is work and what is work? Well, first let me ask you the following questions. Uh, what time did you get up this morning? And what did you do after you got up? Did you eat your breakfast? And did you prepare your breakfast by yourself? Or somebody else in your family prepare the breakfast for you? And on a typical uh, weekday or weekend, do you do laundry or cleaning or doing grocery shopping for your family? Are you living with your youngest siblings or elderly uh, grandparents or the family member with disability? If so, do you regularly take care of them at home? Now, you may be wondering why I'm asking these questions to you. You may wonder, are uh, these work? And yes, they are. They are work called unpaid work. The activity you do at home without payment for your family is unpaid work. And the, uh, this is accounted in the national statistic called the Time Use Survey. And many countries now collect the time use data. And Japan, the government, uh, collect the time use uh, statistic every four years. So in this Time Use Survey, you will be asked these questions and you fill in the, all the uh, form, like a diary, list all the activities you do uh, for whom, for what purpose, and at where. And you list down all the activities between the time you got up and time you went to bed. And later, the statisticians or researcher analyze the activities you listed uh, into the following nine categories. And these nine categories tell you whether you are doing unpaid work or paid work or leisure activities or self-care maintenance. So the top two activities are considered as paid work, the work you do for generating income or revenue. And the part of the fifth category, like volunteering or internship, is partly unpaid, but also considered as part of the paid program because that can be paid by the company or organizations for the, your services. And the, the activity I highlighted in yellow is unpaid work. Unpaid domestic services, uh, household chores such as cooking and cleaning, and unpaid care services is something you do for your family. Like if you are uh, nurturing your younger siblings, that's your unpaid childcare work. And again, part of the fifth category also can be considered as unpaid work. And for students, uh, many of you who are watching this, that learning, studying is maybe your full-time work. Okay? So that can be also at work in a way. So the, um, the, uh, the highlighted yellow is unpaid work. It's called the reproductive work, whereas the paid work are also called productive work. We call it reproductive work because the services you do at home is supporting the someone who undertake or will undertake productive work. Okay? But these unpaid work are not counted in the national income or economic statistics like a GDP gross domestic product or labor force survey as we're going to see in the coming slides. And the other activity is the leisure activities, uh, socializing or watching TV, or self-care and maintenance is including like sleeping, the, the time you need for resting. So from here, we're going to look at the paid and unpaid work. And in the time use statistics in Japan, the 10 years old and older uh, residents will participate in the survey. But here in this slide, we are just showing the average time spent on paid and unpaid work by wives and husbands with a child or children under the six years old of age. This is a weekly average and minutes are spent per day on average. But two things I like to highlight here based on the data is that first, there's a clear gender division of labor in Japan. The husband being the uh, expected to be a breadwinner are spending 
uh, eight hours and a half uh, outside of the home, mostly, to earn income. And they spend about less than uh, one hour and a half at home to do the household chores and taking care of the family members. On the other hand, the wives are expected to be a primary caretaker. Uh, they usually uh, perform uh, the household chores and the family care services. So they spend seven hours and a half at a home, while some of them are also engaged in not paid work. So some of them working on average spend about two hours and a half a day to earn the income. The second point I'd like to highlight is that when we combine unpaid and paid work, women work longer hours than men. Um, and in, this is the, uh, the data from household with uh, uh, small children, but when we're looking at the average working hours of all men and women, uh, the statistics tell the same results. So in Japan and elsewhere, the women work more than men. So why we tend to believe that men work more in the Japan and the regular society? Uh, were you engaged in work at all during the last, uh, last seven days of the month? And this is a question asked in typical economic statistics like labor force survey. And here work only means paid work. So economic statistics doesn't include unpaid work the men and women do at home. So the results of the labor force survey shows like a gender differences in the economic activities. So uh, like uh, uh, half of the women, uh, 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 half of the working age women in the labor force, whereas 70% of the working age men in the labor force. And when women work, half of them taking a non-regular job, the job like part-time job or the uh, job with the short-term contract. And this survey asks, why are women not in the labor force? Why are women are willing to take uh, no regular job? And they say, well, we have a heavy burden of unpaid care work at home, so they are not willing to take a full-time job, or they are not seeking a job at all. And this gender differences in the labor market, economic participation, of course, lead to the gender wage gap. So in Japan, the women earn about uh, half of what men earn, and this gender uh, gap in economic activities also lead to other gender inequality in the society as well. So global leaders noticed this problem and they call for the change. In 2015, the global leaders adopted the sustainable development goals and one of the goal and target is calling for recognizing and valuing unpaid care and domestic work. And one way to value and uh, uh, make the uh, unpaid work visible in the statistic is to uh, estimate the monetary value of unpaid uh, domestic and care work. And the Economic uh, Social Research Institute of Cabinet Office of Japan uh, estimated this uh, using the 2016 time use data. And they, uh, there's a various method of estimations but uh, on average, the 19 to 26% of the national income can be equivalent to the unpaid work, okay? And this is as big as the economic contribution of manufacturing sector. So SDGs is calling for reducing and redistributing a women's unpaid care burden by providing the uh, public services infrastructures in the field of child care, elderly care, and medical care, and the care uh, for the person with a disability, and also promoting the shared responsibility of household chores and family care within the household. And by providing these public services, it's not only like a good for women, uh, helping them to uh, get the paid jobs and uh, empowered and so on, but also like any other services, the services provided by the professional workers usually uh, uh, offer the better quality of services. So these care receivers also benefit uh, from uh, professional care services. And public investment in the care services create the jobs and also contribute to the sustainable economic growth. 
So I'd like to end my uh, lecture with uh, uh, policy implication related to the recent COVID-19. Uh, and uh, about three months between March and May, all the public schools are closed due to the uh, pandemic of the coronavirus, right? And uh, the end of the February, uh, when this public uh, school closure was announced, all the working parents got panic, said, well, who's going to take care of my children at a home? And the uh, uh, mayor of the Chiba tweeted, he says, well, society could collapse if the schools are closed. Now, so far, did our society collapse? Well, not yet, because the older working parents stay at home, uh, take care of the children while they're working from home or taking a leave from workplace, or some of them even quit their part-time job to spend their time with the children. In addition, the child care workers, elderly care workers, and the special education teachers uh, continue working despite the risk they may face at the workplace to support working parents. So in my view, whether I'm paid or paid, all the care workers are essential workers to our society and we should do something about this. So if you are uh, living with a family, uh, please share the household chores and the family care responsibility among your family members. And as a policy implications, uh, that is care workers in uh, child education or uh, the facilities that take care of the sick and the elderly or person with a disability, they deserve a better working condition, including the higher wages because they are the, one of the lowest paid workers in the services sector. So let's recognize and value all the work, both pay and unpaid work, including that care essential work. Thank you for listening.